Uh oh. I made it. It's okay. Nailed it. Good job. Now in this next stage, A2, it's really easy to achieve this level up by going through the sand trap. There's a bonus area and it dumps you off at the end of the stage. Unfortunately, when we take the speed run route, the angry sun comes out and then there's this maze of music Gosh. mode blocks. Why it's how did I... Oh well. This is still a great there stage. <laughs> yeah, great yeah. stage. Great still stage. Weird. It's very difficult to keep these speed when you're climbing up that ramp that has all of the piranha plants on it. So that was very nicely done. Quiet. Raffle time. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think so. So yeah, he's gonna activate a P switch and he needs to enter the door in time. Or um, he will have to activate a second P switch. I'm not doing and the clip. Was a lot of time. No clip! <laughs> and it's okay, we got it. <laughs> the timing for that piece switch is so precise, it's really uh -huh. easy to uh, have to go back and activate the second piece switch. Yeah, if you do a mistake, you can't reach the door in time. You pretretty much need to get to piece speed right after hitting the EP switch, enter the door and maintain it all the way until the, the final door. It's pretty much the only way to do it. And if you miss it, you end up having to reactivate the P-switch. And what really sucks about that is when you enter Boom Boom's chamber, the conveyor belt is stopped when the P-switch is active. So you have to wait for it to expire again, wait, wasting like another 15 seconds or something. Now, if you can't get to the top of the level right away, yeah. or if you're not, uh, you can't jump from platform to platform up there, the easiest way to beat this stage is to hug the far right, believe it or not. You just need to memorize where all the cannonballs are being fired. So it's actually it's actually kind of risky to, to bounce up to the top screen there. Um, so at this point, after uh, after Eight Fortress, uh, there's no opportunity to regain Fire Flower, um, and it's, it's such a significantly faster kill on Bowser. If you have Fire Flower, it's imperative that you keep it uh, after that point in the run. We have a fifty dollar donation from Sis of uh, I'm sorry. This sis of fist. I, I don't t uh, typically watch speedruns, so watching my childhood on fast forward is pretty amazing. Thanks for using this to fight cancer. Uh, do the zip. Do the zip. Yeah, I'll try for it. Yeah. I'll even All go right. over the. I'll even go over the elevator. It's a little, yeah. it's a little yeah. donuts make life difficult for me. Ah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do a very similar wall clip right here. Get in there. Hey. Come on. There you go. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I can't believe I kept that. Very impressive PSP recovery there. Bowser's Very in nice. the is really weird. Nice, quick uh, job. Time on the door. I guess it's 53. And 10. this is going to be time when he enters the time door. Time on the door right now. Wow. Not bad. Nice. Guys. Uh, do I have enough time to try the uh, the glitch run? It only takes three to four minutes. Do we have enough time? All right. Uh, can I get a reset? I'm only gonna try once. It's like one in a billion chances of working, but <laughs> I'll give it a try. And you get to see some fun stuff, even if it doesn't work. Wrong word. So yeah, before to beat the game as fast as possible, you had to warp to World 8, to warp to World 8, sorry, and then beat the game normally. But a new uh, strategy has been discovered recently with a wrong warp, and it occurs in World 7, and Mitch is gonna try it now.
Oh, there's the movement of one. Thanks. <laughs> So yeah, the start is the same, you grab the two whistles, uh, but then instead of using them to uh, warp to ward 8, you warp to ward 2, and then to warp 7. Oh, come on. Whee! So uh, most people know this trick. You uh, press down for 5 seconds, and you go behind the scenes. <laughs> I had to try it. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can go back. <laughs> yeah, you really need the gift there to grab the second whistle, so you oh, can't afford on. to get it. <laughs> try and clip everywhere. It's okay. As long as I get it. Don't die. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't want to do any of that in a run. So yeah, you, you got it perfect during the Warpless run. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a reset. Okay, I won't talk during 7-1, but basically what he's going to do is try to position a lot of enemies in very precise very... spots and kill them and certain pixels and all. It's complicated, but he's going to try to do an elaborate setup and then uh, see if it works. Now Mitch has to go in and out of the warp zone twice because if he were to use his second whistle while he's in the warp zone, he'd go to world eight instead. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's hard. Got that. What? <laughs> That looks... Oh, I don't know if that is it. Hmm. Wow! <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's it. I, th I don't think the bottom shell Yeah, it's was, not Yeah, I don't think it was it, but we'll see. You never know. Well, you're gonna see some fun stuff, so... See some mess of stuff. I can't believe I got that so clip first try. So we're gonna know in uh, like 10 seconds if he got the setup. He got in the red pipe really quickly, though. I did, I did. And luckily the shell was on the ground. Don't worry, everything is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's awesome. So that's Mario 3. <laughs> it's, uh, that's it. All that work done in three well, minutes. Credits are a bit broken with this method, but yeah, it counts. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot believe that that worked. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right, so whatever's next. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah next up is Mario World. Cut our mics. No, we're good. Hello? Hello? Uh, so, coming, if you like to the Mario 3 Warpless run, uh, on speedrunslive.com after AGDQ, I think it's the weekend after, uh, on the 17th, uh, there's uh, going to be a big Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, Warpless race. For the next uh, three weeks after AGDQ, there's going to be a series of races. Uh, in addition to SMB3, there's also Link to the Past and Sonic 2. And the idea is to kind of get new people into speedrunning after AGDQ, there's always people looking to see where to start. And uh, the folks over at Speedruns Live are starting up some uh, some weekly races here. And starting with SMB3 Warpless, go to speedrunslive.com and I think there's a big banner on it uh, that's like kind of pitching it and it gives some information. So if that sounds cool to you and you want to check out speedrunning, go do that and we'll see you there.
All right, that was Super Mario Brothers 3 by Mitch Flower Power. Very good run, thanks for that. Ne up next, we have Super Mario World, a four-way race, so everybody get hyped for that. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break before then. All right, everybody, we're back, and we're going to get started very soon with the Super Mario World race. It's going to be super hype, so is everybody in the room excited? Yeah! No, that's not good enough. Is everyone in the room excited? Before we start, we have $50 from Bruce Wayne. Hey guys, I'm currently a medical student and have been fortunate enough to keep cancer research as an undergraduate. My mom has won the fight against cancer multiple times and I will love it to stay that way. I think you're doing everything you're doing is amazing and I absolutely love watching the pros crushing my favorite games. Keep it up. All of you deserve so much credit and every one of them has my utmost respect and thanks. Thank you. We have a $50 donation from Chitagi. My father's been dealing with several luckily minor cancers in recent years, so this is a cause I can support. My heart goes out to everyone whose lives have been touched by cancer, and a massive thanks for the awesome event. P.S. Frames before animals. Kill them all. We have a $20 donation from TrueMez8. X-Paco stepped up on the couch. It was at the bottom of the ninth, and the New England Link Dads needed a cloud to help fight cancer. Good luck, everybody, and remember to get orb. <laughs> 